Stroke Count and Speed, A Match Made in Heaven. Find out why in this video. Hi, this is Andrew Sheaf with Mastering Flow. I help triathletes identify the critical skills for fast swimming and I provide them with the tools to learn those skills in any location. For a free 8-week technical training program to help you get your skills on track, click on the link in the video description below. We're working on improving your arm pull in a systematic way to ensure you get results. We're going through all of the solutions you can use to improve. We've been discussing how keeping track of your performance is critical for success. If you only focus on speed, you run the risk of developing habits that allow for short-term speed but don't allow you to sustain that speed over time. The shorter the distances you use, the more this is true. If you're tired, it's even more true. You can create speed over short distances and when you're swimming tired by just trying harder. However, that's not necessarily going to support long-term improvements in skill. Not what you want. In contrast, if you only focus on stroke counts, you'll find that you can achieve pretty low stroke counts by swimming really slow and gliding a lot between strokes. Also, not what you want. However, if you keep track of both, you can't cheat it. You can swim fast, but you have to swim well. You can swim long, but you have to stay fast. By keeping track of both and having goals for both within a given set, you can ensure that you're accelerating your learning. In the context of sets focused on improving your pull, that almost guarantees your pull is going to improve. Check out the key takeaways for a summary of these concepts. To make sure you're notified when future videos are released, click on the subscribe button below as well as the bell icon next to it. It helps me spread the word about more effective swimming, which means more videos for you.